In defense of intelligent design, the central argument hinges on the concept of specified complexity and the intricate organization found in biological systems. Evolutionists argue that natural selection and random mutation alone explain the development of complex life, but this explanation often lacks sufficient evidence when we examine the staggering level of complexity in biological systems, especially at the molecular level. One key example supporting ID is the bacterial flagellum, a rotary motor that some have referred to as an outboard motor for cells. The flagellum's highly organized system consists of a rotor, stator, and drive shaft, which all function together in a precise and highly regulated manner. Even evolutionist biologists such as Richard Dawkins admit that it looks designed. The concept of irreducible complexity, championed by biochemist Michael Behe, asserts that such a system could not have evolved through incremental mutations because all parts must be in place simultaneously for the system to function. If one part is missing, the entire structure is non-functional, making gradual evolutionary processes unlikely. Furthermore, proponents of evolution often argue that random mutation combined with natural selection is enough to drive complexity in living organisms. However, Random mutations are overwhelmingly deleterious or neutral. Beneficial mutations are extremely rare, and the accumulation of these beneficial mutations to produce new, functional systems has not been empirically demonstrated. This randomness falls short of explaining highly structured and purposeful biological mechanisms that point to a guiding intelligence. The fine-tuning of the universe is another key piece of evidence supporting ID. For life to exist, the universe's physical constants, such as the gravitational constant and the cosmological constant, must fall within very narrow ranges. Any slight deviation in these values would make life as we know it impossible. While some argue that the multiverse theory provides a naturalistic explanation for this fine-tuning, this theory lacks empirical evidence and fails to account for the intricate order observed in biological systems. Additionally, evolution struggles to provide a coherent explanation for the origin of life itself. A biogenesis, the idea that life arose from non-living matter, remains speculative at best. Despite decades of research, scientists have been unable to demonstrate how complex, self-replicating life could emerge from simple organic molecules through purely natural processes. ID, by contrast, posits that the complexity and specified information inherent in life points toward an intelligent cause. Life's origin requires an informational blueprint, such as DNA, which acts as a coded language directing the function and development of living organisms. Language codes and specified information systems do not arise through random processes. They require an intelligent mind. In some intelligent design, offers a more plausible and coherent explanation for the complexity, fine-tuning, and information found in biological and cosmological systems. Evolutionary theory, while attempting to explain these phenomena through random mutation and natural selection, leaves significant gaps unfilled, especially in light of irreducible complexity, the origin of life, and the intricate design seen in nature. Therefore, ID stands as a strong contender for explaining the origin and development of life, rooted in observable evidence of design rather than speculative naturalism.